What's the difference between the smartwatch and a fitness tracker? A fitness tracker is designed to keep track of your health and exercise. A smartwatch keeps the track of your fitness too, but also keeps you connected by delivering notifications and updates on your wrist. There's a lot of overlap between the two. And what we have here today is a blend of a fitness tracker and a smartwatch. We're talking about the latest wearable from Soundpeats called Watch 2, which can track sport activities and manage health status in real time and could be one of the most considerable budget options currently available. Welcome back, this is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Soundpeats might be known for their awesome true wireless earbuds and innovative audio glasses, but it's nice to see Soundpeats venturing into a different line of products. And we're talking about the fitness wearables such as Watch 2, a successor to the Watch 1, which I reviewed here not long ago. In today's video, I will test the step accuracy and the heart rate accuracy of the Soundpeats Watch 2. This is something I couldn't find in the other video reviews on YouTube. I will also check the waterproof capability of the Soundpeats Watch 2 and will talk you through its main features, pros and cons, so stay with me. As always, my wife is going to unbox the Watch 2. The packaging for the Soundpeats Watch 2 is actually pretty decent with a slight type design. Opening the box, we're greeted by the Soundpeats Watch 2 itself and an accessory compartment on its side. Inside the box we also have dedicated charging cable and the user manual where you can find the QR code which is required to download the companion app called Soundpeats Life. The app is actually quite intuitive and offers a ton of features when it comes to health stats reports, alarms, reminders, push notifications and personalized options. This includes the profile data where you enter your gender, age, height and weight. These factors helping the watch too to assess the length of your stride which then helps to achieve very accurate step count stats and calories burned. Once you got the app installed on your phone, make sure you got the Bluetooth turned on, but do not connect your watch from this screen. To connect it, you'll have to open the app, you'll be asked to create or log into your personal profile, then just carry on with pairing and syncing from the app level. Initial connection with the phone is necessary in order to set up the time and set up all your tracking preferences, sports targets and personalize the watch. During setup, you'll be asked to confirm the app request regarding the notifications, etc. With that being said, let's now take a closer look at the design of the Soundpeats Watch 2. The circular body of the Watch 2 is made out of aluminium alloy, while the strap is available in silicon. It has that business sport design that looks pretty stylish and it's suitable for men and women. The Watch 2 is very lightweight and with its 38 grams it feels comfy on the wrist. If we flip the watch you can see the magnetic charging port to fuel up the smartwatch and the two heart rate sensors and the infrared SpO2 sensor in the center. At the side of the watch there's one multifunctional button. The Soundpeats Watch 2 has a 1.28 inch color IPS TFT touchscreen with an anti scratch coating and a resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. It has four levels of brightness, and I've been using this watch on the top brightness level as it seems pretty dark outdoors in the direct sunlight. The look of the display can be customized by downloading one of the optional watch faces from the selection of around 40 available ones and this has to be done via the companion app. You can also create your own watch face using any photo or image from your phone. The Soundpeats Watch 2 has an IP68 enclosure which is rated to resist submersion of at least 1.5 meters and up to 30 minutes. I'm not going to drop it into 1 meter deep water but will use a glass of water in order to verify its waterproof capabilities. It's 10 past 10 in the morning right now and I try to keep it submerged for at least 5-6 hours but I'll keep checking on the watch too every hour to see if it's still alive. Well, if it dies, I obviously won't be able to finish this review, so fingers crossed. 
To recap, devices and wearables backed by an international standard rating of IP68 are deemed fit enough to withstand dust, dirt and sand, and as I mentioned before, are resistant to submersion up to maximum depth of 1.5 meter underwater for at least 30 minutes. And we're talking about fresh water here, I won't risk I won't recommend dropping the watch with the metal parts into salty conductive water or go to the Swedish sauna wearing any watch as micro particles of the steam would penetrate the seals of the watch. Anyway, it's been submerged in the water for 12 hours and it's still alive. This proves you can safely swim with your watch too. However, even if the Watch 2 has 12 various sports modes to track the sports activities, unfortunately it can't track the swimming. But instead it could track jogging, fast walking, biking, climbing, spinning, yoga, indoor running, integrated training, gymnastics, basketball, football and rowing. You can easily keep track of all these exercises in real time directly on the watch too and it helps you to understand your physical condition. Unfortunately the watch too hasn't got a GPS built in to track your position during walking, biking or during running exercises but this is still doable via the companion app as the app can utilize the GPS location directly from your phone. All you have to do open the app and start the walking, running or biking exercise from the app and your GPS position going to be tracked and recorded. Talking about walking exercises, let's check the accuracy of the watch for the step counts. I'm going to check it against the count of the manual tally counter. I've done exactly 1000 steps manually clicking the tally counter for each step and our watch 2 count is 999 steps which gave us 99.9% .9 step accuracy. That's absolutely impressive. I have repeated the challenge to be absolutely sure. So in the second challenge, for my manually counted 1000 steps of various length, walking with various speed, the watch 2 captured 993 steps, which gives us 99.3% of step accuracy. That's still very good, I am happy with it. To maximize the accuracy, you'll have to enter your correct physical details within your profile in the app, such as age, weight and height. The main menu in the Watch 2 is a list that combines icons and text. By the way, the menu items and the functions of the button are not customizable. The Watch 2 tracks the heart rate continuously 24 hours a day, but let's check out how accurate the heart rate or BPM actually are. I'm comparing the Watch 2's reading with the NHS approved medical pulse oximeter. In the first trial, the Watch 2 measured my heart rate as 67 beats per minute, almost the same as the readings from the pulse oximeter, which shows 65 BPM. That's not bad, let's try it again. Now it looks like we got the same readings on both devices. Let's also check the SpO2 or blood oxygen saturation. Here I have to trigger it manually as the watch 2 doesn't track the SpO2 in the background. This feature is on demand only. Here we got 98% of SpO2 on the watch 2, where the oximeter counts 97% of SpO2. That's close enough. Right, this was too easy. Let's spice up things a bit. I'll do some press ups to raise my heart rate a bit and then we'll repeat the same test to make it more challenging for the watch 2. The watch indicates 97 beats per minute, the oximeter shows 98 beats per minute. That's great, let's try it once more as I'm cooling down now, so the readings should decrease a bit. Watch 2 shows 74 beats per minute and the oximeter stopped at 76 beats per minute. That's good. However, don't forget the Watch 2 isn't a medical grade device, so these readings, though very accurate, should be taken only as a reference. The next widget in the menu is a sleep tracker, which can provide the analysis of your sleep, whether you are in deep sleep, light sleep or shows the wake up time. I have discovered in my struggle to provide the exact tracking for my sleep every time when I go to bed very late or during the day. Other than that, it works fine. 
The Watch 2 offers real-time message notifications, it pushes the notifications about the incoming text messages and the social apps messages, as well as notifications about an incoming calls. Unfortunately, you can't pick up the incoming calls, you could only drop it. And this feature would work only when your watch is connected with your smartphone. You could control your music app in a smartphone once the devices are connected. Here, you can start and stop and skip to the next or previous song. The Breathe widget on Watch 2 encourages you to set aside a few minutes a day to relax and focus on your breathing. Simply open the Breathe widget, tap Start, inhale slowly as the animation grows and then exhale as it shrinks. You can adjust the duration of the exercise to either 1 or 2 minutes. The lithium polymer battery in Soundbeats Watch 2 has capacity of 220mAh which will last you around a week on a single charge. To replace the wrist strap you don't need any tools, just pull the little pin here, remove the strap. Just remember the replacement straps have to be 22mm wide. Put the new one between the locks of the watch. Pull the pin, it clicks, and here you go. There are Amazon links in this video description where you can find some nice looking alternative straps for your watch too. In the summary, if you're looking for an inexpensive smartwatch and activity tracker, this fills the bill quite nicely and it's fashionable and has a fine design. You won't be disappointed with your purchase. In one of our future videos, we will take a closer look into an awesome audio glasses from Soundbeats, so stay tuned for this one. Be sure to watch our other tech reviews of smartwatches to pick the best one which is going to suit your needs and your budget. Ok guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week. That was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.